I would consider what Zimmerman did murder based on my understanding of how Florida interprets that. Yeah. Because of that 911 phone call. The same phone call where the operator told Zimmerman, don't follow him. You may proceed. Thank you, Art. Mr. Nofke, if you would, first thing I'd like you to do is spell your last name for a court reporter. And it's in Nancy O. F. is in Frank. F. is in Frank K. E. And since Sean has more than <clears throat> one spelling, give us that one too, please. <laughs> S. E. A. N. Mr. Nofke, if you would, briefly introduce yourself to ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Tell them how long you work, uh, where you work, and what you do. I'm a 911 operator with Seminole County Sheriff's Office, and I have been there for six years. Now, you mentioned also that you are a 911 operator. Yes, sir. Uh, does the communication center also take calls that are to a line other than 911? Yes, sir. Non emergency lines. Okay. And do you handle both those types of calls? Yes, sir. I'll show you what's already been stipulated to State's Exhibit 173. It's a composite exhibit with an audio recording as well as a writing. Do you recognize that? Yes, sir. What's that? This is the recording of the, the non emergency call I took as well as the printout of the screen that I typed up. When you say the non-emergency call you took, you took more than one that day. Yes, sir. All right. This is the one that has to do with this case, right? That's right. Mr. Nafi, before I get into going through that phone call, uh, tell us a little bit about how those calls come in and what you do when you get them. Uh, the lines bring into our computer system that shows what line they are, if they're 911 line or one of our non-emergency lines. Then it's as simple as there's no rotation. It's just answer as you go. Okay. And this particular call, was it a 911 call or a non-emergency call? It was a non-emergency call. And then you make a left, uh, yeah. you go straight in, don't turn and make a left, shit, he's running. He's running, which way is he running? Uh, down towards the, uh, the entrance of the neighborhood. Okay, which entrance is that that he's heading towards? The back entrance. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. Okay. Because George Zimmerman's a butthead. The cops told him, don't follow him. Don't follow him. And one line is open. Hi, Dave. Hi, is that me? Yeah, you're on. What's up? <laughs> hey, the, the caller previous to this one, or maybe he was a guest, I don't know, but it seemed like he was jumping to a conclusion that uh, Zimmerman was acting like super cop and looking for a confrontation. It seemed to me from everything we know, or at least we've heard, is that he was just following him, trying to get the cops there, trying to make, find out where he went so the police could come and handle it. Dave, if that was the case, why then, when the 911 dispatcher told him, don't follow him, he kept following him? Well, what about, the, well, hang on, let me, throw, let me throw this in, too, because a caller uh, was asking this question, it just dropped, but, uh, you know, he's, a lot is being said about him being told by the cops not to follow, and, and we're talking about a lot of irresponsibility with Zimmerman, but wait a minute, he did call the cops first, now, he didn't follow everything they said, but the man did not entirely take it into his own hands. He called law enforcement. Yeah, he called them, and then they didn't tell him, don't follow him. They said, we don't need you to do that. They, and, told, they uh, told him not to follow him. I mean, you, you can argue the verbiage till you're blue in the face. Okay. The dispatcher said, don't follow him. I'm a gun owner. Right. I have a gun because if somebody goes after my wife and kids, you bet your butt I'll put a hole in their head. 